Hello my beautiful bugs, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brooke. I am a fashion lover, a makeup lover, and a proud mother to a sophisticated cat named Snoop. Today, in honor of my freshly dyed hair, Nervous. I'm nervous right what is that spot? Is color remover bleach? I'm so confused right now. It's so uneven. What's We are going to be doing a Draculaura from Monster High cosplay. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with priming my face. Priming your face is essential to a smooth base and flawless makeup, of course. Lately, I've been using a brush to apply my moisturizer and my primer. I find it's a little softer than using my fingers. Now going in with my foundation, I'm using the Anastasia's foundation and I'm only focusing my foundation around my eye area aka the center of my face because I want to do my foundation last. This is just a base for my eyeshadow. Also a base for my eyeshadow is concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal and putting that all over my eyelids, like I said, for a smooth base. And of course, blend that out. Now going into my Fruit Punch You Can Be palette. This palette is absolutely beautiful. Look at this beautiful rainbow. Chef's kiss, absolutely. <laughs> first step for our eyes, we will be taking a pencil crease brush and our first shadow is going to be the purple shadow in this palette. And we're just going to be drawing on a new crease just a little above our natural crease and we are really making sure to get that in the inner corner and as well as extending that out towards our brow Now blending out that shadow that we just put down with an extremely fluffy brush. It's okay if this is messy. We want this to be as blended out as possible. We're going to go back in in a second with the purple shadow to really vamp it up and make it a little darker. As you can see here, we're back in with our pencil crease brush and we went back in with the same purple and we are just deepening up the crease making it a little more put together. Now, of course, blending out one more time very softly with a fluffy brush. Now on a packing brush, I am taking the hot pink in this palette and putting that right over the purple that we just put down. Not too much, just enough to make it blend seamlessly. And of course, blending that out with a fluffy brush again. Now on a fluffier brush, I'm taking the softer pink in the palette and I'm just blending over all of the colors, making sure they're super seamless with this softer pink that I'm putting on. Now taking some makeup remover and we are going to remove the concealer and excess eyeshadow from our lid so that we can cut our crease. I find that removing the makeup before cutting your crease with more makeup makes it look a lot cleaner because you're not having double makeup on your face, you know? I have made so many cut crease tutorials on my channel, but if you don't know already, all you're going to do is just put concealer on to the center of your lid, look up and around, and just start cutting your crease from where the concealer landed from when you looked up. The more and more you do it, the more you won't have to look up and see where your crease is. You will just know. So practice does make perfect. And we're just going to make sure that this is perfect by blending that out just a little bit with our beauty blender. And now setting that with our Fit Me Compact Powder. Now I'm going to start with my eyeliner. We are just going to do a perfect straight as you can liner 
and not too thick, not too thin, just a perfect liner. And of course, we're gonna connect that from the outer corner to the inner corner and make a nice little point on the inner corner. To mimic the Monster High doll eyes, we're going to be lining our crease with the black eyeliner. Uh, they have really deep set, obviously they're not real people, they are characters, they are fictional characters. They have deep set eyes, so, so that is what we are doing like today. A third of my face and do the rest of my face on camera with you guys today. So right now we're going to go into foundation and I'm going to put that in all of the blank areas of my face. Now I'm going to conceal the problem areas of my face and I'm going to be using the same concealer that I've been using this whole time. This is the Master Conceal by Face Studio. Just a little bit right here. Because I already have some concealer on. And when we did our eyeshadow. We're not going to worry about this eye because I already have it done, but if you don't, go ahead and do this eye too. Nose, a little bit on our forehead, and our chin, and I also have a few pimples around. Go ahead and blend that out. Sorry I did this makeup tutorial a little different today. Um, I wanted to film a TikTok at the same time, and it's really hard to film a TikTok and film a YouTube video when you only have one device to record two things on. Now I'm going to set everywhere I put concealer with some loose setting powder. This is the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Light or Fair Clair, um, but you could use any setting powder that you like. Powder down the sides of my nose as if I'm contouring with my powder, but don't worry, we're not doing that. A little bit right here on our jawline. I like doing this because it helps blend my foundation to my neck, because I don't put foundation on my neck. You should. But I don't. Now I'm going to take my compact setting powder and I'm going to set everywhere where I didn't put the loose setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the excess powder. Now I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to contour my nose. The reason why I'm going off camera is because I want to put out a detailed nose contouring video very, very soon. Now that our little noses are contoured, we are going to go ahead and bronze up our cheeks. I am, of course, using my Complex Culture Duo palette. They have a cute uh, blush and contour and I actually use both of them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my contour. I really like to pinch my brush when I'm contouring because it's a really big brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and I'm just going to blend out that bronzer. Now I'm going to go in with my blush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my blush, of course. Now I'm gonna highlight with my Ofra X Nikki Tutorials highlighter.
blending out that harsh, bright highlight with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Now to finish off the remainder of our eyes, we are going to go and start on the lash line. Just like how I did my cut crease is how I'm going to do my lash line. First going in with the dark purple, blending that out. Then going back in with the hot pink, blending that out. Then going in with the soft pink and blending that out. Simple. Now go in with your favorite mascara. I do not have a favorite mascara because I feel like all mascaras are the same. And of course, your favorite lashes. I don't have a favorite pair of lashes because I love a lot of different brands of eyelashes, but the ones I'm using today are the Ardell 8D lashes. I am gluing on a few bottom lashes just to make the look a little more dramatic. For my lips, I used a NYX lip pencil and also used a NYX liquid lipstick and I used the shade Busted and we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, while you're down there subscribing, there is a bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Go ahead and press that so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!